everybody welcome back to thumb fpv now today we're going to do another thick video and this one i'm going to call calibrating the camera this is not really anything to do with the camera per se but this is a good easy way on how to get your camera stand to the top of the drone level in a fashion where it is even with your fpv camera now Initially, I was looking at this, and I got this set up the way that it's supposed to be. But there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, you can take this, you can literally, instead of having it set up the way that I do, and the way that it's done, according to everybody online or whatever, you could just take, and you could use four of these. You could have two to the back, and two to the front. And you could have it nice and flat. You could take, you could also change these in uh, slicing or your 3D uh, program make them a little bit bigger you could stretch them out or whatever um, you could take and you can put the ones from the back or from the front to the ones in the back if you're trying to catch more of a down angle view and still not quite interfere with your camera in the front or you can take and you can pinch them way down now why there's so much of this and the back I don't know because I literally doubt that anybody is going to be flying this thing at this angle but it's there so in order to do this I'm going to take and I'm just going to explain to you real quick instead of showing you and wasting your time what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the dot for the camera the crosshairs find that I'm going to pick an object a good distance away probably if I can up to a half a mile at that point, I'm going to take and I'm going to figure out in my goggles a place that I'm setting on and then take and fully zoom in as far as I can with the camera on the same thing. That way, I know both of my cameras are facing the exact same way in the same angle and I'm going to be getting simultaneous footage of what I see through my goggles on the camera. Okay, so without spending too much of the day trying to get this down to the nitty gritty within a small... Uh, scale was able to do what I was talking about and get them synced up now doing this I have the platform all the way down on the second to the last notch there is only one more hole that the bolt for the camera dampeners can go on before this is out of room but as you can see that angle right there I mean it's like straight on so we have that set up let's get outside and fly this here So here we are, round two, taking the thick out. We're looking forward to this. It's been a little uh, crappy out lately. <clears throat> but today we got some good weather out here. Nice and sunshiny and you should be able to get some pretty good footage out. So while the weather permits, I'm gonna get this thing out and check it out. While I'm out today, I'm gonna take a uh, quick second and talk about one of my giveaways coming up. I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to be giving away a drone, and I am. Uh, it's going to be, the first one I'm going to be giving away is going to be a pin and play pre-build. Now, I'm going to have a video on this, uh, just a quick overview on what the drone is, how it's set up, that way whoever gets it can go back in and uh, make any adjustments do that just by looking at it in beta flight anyway but um, they'll know what I did initially before they get it if they want to check it out so this is going to be a, um, a buy or a pin and play this is going to be a five inch it is going to be four to six s and it is going to be analog so rules for this pretty much are the same as everything else you must be subscribed to my channel and active on the channel Leave comments, hit me up, say things, talk, you know what I mean? Um, there is going to be a second giveaway, I'm going to tell you right now, and this is going to be in September, so you got a few months for this. The next, the first one I'm talking about is going to be here um, at the end of next month. 
so this is April at the end of May I'm going to be doing the giveaway I'll give you guys enough time to see this subscribe get a hold of me whatever you want to do uh, the next one is going to be a full RTF kit it is going to be somewhere between three to a five inch I haven't picked out the drone yet though is going to be running an XM Plus free sky receiver on it, full range. It is going to have a Tyrannus QX7 TX for it, and I haven't quite picked out the goggles yet, but it's going to be it's going to have goggles with it too. The only thing that I'm going to say about this right now ahead of time is that whoever gets this, unless the goggles already have the battery inside of them, I'm not sending the batteries with it. You do have to get your own batteries, but I mean batteries are cheap. The way the postal service works, they want to know this and that, blah blah blah. You got to fill out paperwork and all. Of, no, not doing it. But I will give you a drone. I'll give you a transmitter, and I will give you goggles, all pre-bound, ready to go at the end of September. So that one, in order to be considered for that, I am going to raise the bar on that a little bit because that's a lot to give away. Uh, you do have to be part of my. Uh, YouTube channel, you do have to be subscribed to that. I am also, it is also going to be a Patreon of mine that I am going to pick for this. So, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to subscribe. Five bucks a month between now and then. You got May, June, July, August, September. Five bucks a month for five months. It's 25 bucks. Gets you almost $500 worth of shit. So, just putting that out there. The drone giveaways are coming. There are two of them this summer one midsummer one more towards fall but if you're interested in that that's how to be considered for it so i'm going to check out a couple of my favorite flying spots today um, i'm going to have several clips not random fast in and out things but um decent amount of time here and there just showing different areas and stuff like that. Places I fly. I brought six packs out today, and I got two hours before I get ready for work, so that should be more than enough time, being this thing only flies for like three minutes tops. I'm honestly surprised it even flew for as long as it does with that tiny battery on there, but we're gonna check this out. All right, so here we are. Got the thick out, got the camera on it. Got an upgraded uh, lens adapter, uh, 42, something like that, to a 49. I don't know the specifics. It don't really matter right now. We're here to check out the drone. Got the camera down, nice and low. I'm going to uh, dim out the majority of the wind noise from this. Let's get this thing in the air and see what it does. <laughs>
still recording? Yes, we are still recording. <sighs> okay, so there is the battery limit thing that I have to work on. So the battery drops really fast, dropped really fast. Tried putting it down, didn't have enough time to reach the ground. But we'll do another one.
So there's another one, we got that done. Nice little casual, leisurely flight through the park over here. It's a little view of the sky, the lake, the trees surrounding the area, whatever. That's what I'm gonna get right down on the water for. Not too far out over it, but we're gonna get down and see some of the, the beach footage. <laughs> Especially with the <laughs> with the increased price of the quad, like you're out there, you got an analog, you know, you get your Hawk Pro, you got a I don't know some form of Emacs build, you got your little um, 
diatone, anything, whatever. I spent a couple hundred dollars on it. Yeah, it sucks if you lose it. But you get flying with hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of, worth of material and components on a single quad. Your, uh, your concern rate definitely elevates very quickly. Um, I, I, love the, I love the view of the water, though. It is amazing, especially from the air. I like beach scenery to begin with, but when you can get that aerial aspect of it just in and out and down and around it's it's pretty amazing um i know i got my goggles set up to automatically record but truth be told i'm probably not even going to look at the actual goggle footage of this i'm really interested to see how the how the sony a6 did um they do not have my DSLR camera yet. I'm still working on trying to come up with something good for that. Um, also looking into possibly getting another build like this. So if I could get two, that'd be great. I'm trying to teach, train, find an assistant of sorts uh, to operate another one that a lot of people I would trust to just throw this up in the air and hey do this you know that there's a lot line riding on the line right there but we're headed off to the next spot next spot is the pier i always like to go up there hopefully it's not too crowded if it is may have to uh substitute and find another spot real quick uh people you know what i mean some of them love it some of them hate it and then all it takes is that one person Right to the pier. Let's check this out. All right, here we are. <sighs> Down at the pier. We're gonna get this going.
that was fun. Got the harbor view in there. A little bit of some ducks. Um, not so many people down here early in the morning, later in the day, though. They just kind of seem to be like a steady stream. And I like to avoid people at all costs, but I also like to get good shots of things that, you know, people go to. Show off what people want to see. In the summertime, it will probably be like literally slim to none time, if any at all, literally, unless I can figure out a night vision drone to come down here and fly because this place is always packed always uh the dnr who's down there he was watching me and you see the truck that was right in front of the drone um he didn't seem to have any problem with being down there a lot of cops are just not even paying attention to this thing so why the faa is trolling the shit out of the youtube channels i find to be completely ridiculous. People don't know how to drive. But, uh, yeah, something needs to happen with this. Because I got stopped by a cop the other day and he was like, what's with all this drone equipment? I said, I'm a photographer. He's like, oh, okay. And I started going over some of the laws and everything with him that part 107 the ham radio license and all this and that and he was like this, this is coming from the cop look me dead in the eye and he was like that sounds like a bunch of bs if you have that coming from law enforcement something's not right because a cop would be happy to write you a ticket for anything any time of the day nine times out of ten that's what they do they make money off. so for the police not even giving a crap about this i'm sure that Hopefully this is about to blow over and <laughs> we get back to our normal lives. But uh, that's the pure footage. Um, Lexington, Michigan. This is Thumb FPV. We're going to get back to the uh, house and...